Have you seen a traditional bow tie quilt block, but you think it's too complicated to do? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a super simple bow tie block. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So a bow tie is a traditional quilt block and traditionally it was made with lots of odd shaped pieces that you had to use um, templates and Y seams to sew together. There are a few variations for simplifying this, but today I'm gonna to show you one of the easiest. This is a super simple way to make a 12 inch block that has four little bow ties in it. So to make this simple bow tie block, you are gonna need eight three and a half inch squares of background fabric, four three and a half inch squares of fabric one. Now I'm making a scrappy version, so I have different fabric, but all in the same kind of color and then four three and a half inch squares of fabric two. And again, I'm doing scrappy, so you can do scrappy or you could do all one fabric. Anything will look great. And then you're going to need of each color two two inch squares, but these should be prepared with paperback fusible webbing. So whatever kind of fusible you are using, but they will be two inch squares when they're finished. And you can just cut regular pieces or you could fussy cut this to be a, a picture or design if you wanted to do something that would look really cute. I didn't bother with fussy cutting. I just cut it on the fabric, but that's another great option. So once you have all your pieces cut, then you're ready to begin the block. So to start off, we're going to use the three and a half inch squares and we're gonna make little four patch blocks. And so each block is gonna have two background squares and two squares of the color. So we'll begin by joining each background square to a colored square. So once these pieces have been stitched together, make sure that the seams are pressed toward the darker side. So in my case, this is the color, but if you had a dark background and we're using lighter colors, then you would press toward that side. And if you do the same on all of them, then that will help them to go together later. So now we're gonna stitch these together into a little four patch unit joining like colors. So I'm making two of these like orangey yellow blocks and two purple blocks. Now that these four patch pieces are finished, we're going to turn this into the bow tie. And the way we do that is we're gonna take a square in the opposite color than we used and peel off the back of the web. And then we are just going to line that up right on the intersection. And then we will fuse that into place. Now I've used really lightweight fusible webbing because I'm gonna come back and do some hand embroidery on the edges, but you could use a heavier weight fusible or you can come back and do machine stitch around the edge to secure it. There's a lot of different ways that you can secure that. But once it's lined up, we'll take it to the ironing board and press it to fuse it right into place. So these little bow ties should each be six and a half inches square. And then when we join them together, we will get our block that will finish at 12 inches. So there are two different layouts that we can do. Um, the first layout is to put them all in the same orientation, just alternating colors. So then that will give us a finished block that looks like this. And that's a really fun variation. And if you made a whole quilt, that would give you a quilt that looks like this. So that's a really fun design. But if we rotate a couple of them, then we would get another block that looks like this. This is fun if we're gonna use it on its own. And this will give us a quilt that looks like this, which that's another great option. If we rotated all of them, that would give us a block that looks like this if we're going to have a, a single block on its own. It, but you'll notice this, the single block looks really different, but if we look at the quilt, 
the quilt design is almost the same as the previous block because it's just shifted over. Just the edges will look a little bit different. So if you're making a single block, you have three options, but this block and block number two are gonna look the same in a finished quilt. So it doesn't really matter which one you do. I'm gonna do block number two for my block because I'm gonna be using it by itself and I really like that design. So I'm just gonna um, stitch the blocks together in pairs and then stitch the pairs together. So here's the finished block. Um, I love how it looks with all the different colors, but this would look equally good even if you just used two fabrics in this. So have fun playing with the bow tie block and making either a block or a whole quilt with it. You can see a full tutorial with written directions and pictures if you click the link below, as well as lots of patterns for other basic quilt blocks. For more quilting, tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.